Ladies, gentle folk, welcome to my show. I am Aldridge T. Abington, bringer of daily entertainment that will enchant you. I have traveled the world seeking delights and amusements, visiting every city, town, hamlet, and village of importance. I have seen dogs that can fly, <laughs> monkeys that can sew, <laughs> and a half-man that, despite being an addle-headed fop, could juggle and please a harem at the same time. It's true! Now, let's get down to it! This remarkable woman first attained notoriety seducing alligators out of the swamp and into a pot of stew. Her snake dance will leave you questioning allegory. The mysterious Maya. You now understand her unbounded popularity and why she receives so many gentlemen callers. <laughs> I am honored to present to you the greatest escape artist ever to live. Wow. Compositions have been written about his incredible feats of wonderment. I cannot delay this congregation one more second of experiencing the phenomenal display of the one and only Benjamin Lazarus! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the remarkable Benjamin Lazarus, the most incredible entertainer the world has ever seen. I have delighted concert saloons, variety theaters, and dime museums. I have just returned from London, where audiences stood riveted for an entire hour as I attempted to escape a pair of handcuffs. Yes, I am the king of handcuffs. 
But tonight, as promised, in the stories you've read in the newspaper, I will introduce my latest invention. This steamer, Trunk of Death! <laughs> now, you are aware I can escape from any contraption. In fact, I offer $10 to anyone who can fashion a device that can hold me. Ten dollars! Right. That's a week's wages. A piano maker has tried and failed. Why, I even went to the sheriff and dared him to lock me in jail so I could escape. He wouldn't do it. I performed jail escapes completely without clothes and he still declined knowing that no jail can hold me. Let me thoroughly explain my apparatus. It is especially made steel steamer truck manufactured in Pittsburgh. It contains three impenetrable locks, what? reinforced steel bands, and inside are razor sharp daggers what? that forbid me to move even one inch. Finally, my assistant will place this device over my face that will not allow me to breathe. I can hold my breath longer than anyone in the world, but I cannot hold it forever. Oh now, I do not foresee any accident happening, but we know in life accidents do happen. Babies arrive, bones are broken from a horse kick, worse are started. This is my most dangerous escape yet. And should anything go wrong while I am attempting to escape and it is impossible for me to breathe, let me assure you my assistant is trained in case of an emergency and will rush in with an ax to save my life. I pray that does not have to happen. Now, I encourage you to hold your breath with me as I enter this steamer, Trunk of Death. Don't but I ask you, is it a case or a casket? Oh, oh my God, I can't watch. Oh, God, careful. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Remember, time and space are just an illusion. Death can be cheated. Thank you for your positive accolades. I, I put on an incredible show, don't I? <laughs> Incredulous, awe-inspiring. I encourage any man in this audience who has a high opinion of himself to square off with our next act. She is the strongest woman alive. Whoa. Presenting Miss Hortensia from the deepest of Bavaria.
across this country, from New York to San Francisco to Blackwater. No man can defeat me. Many have tried, and all have failed. Is there any man in this audience who thinks he can take me on? I will make you the laughing stock of this town. Come up on this stage and fight me. into the spotlight. Ah! My next victim! Take your best shot! <laughs>